uh, we work with well animals all of the animals that we are going to find here they are rescue animals for example here in my back there are some of the monkeys there are the one male and three female all of them was rescued a lot of time ago right now we are working in a new place for them also uh, we are in a natural environment uh, everywhere you are going to find green like I call uh, usually you are going to find a lot of animals who walk around old center uh, this place born in 1957 so this is the second oldest place in Costa Rica in two years when the national uh, zoo closed these are going to be the oldest rescue center or the oldest place who worked with wild animals in Costa Rica also this place was recognized by um, with the reproduction of the tapirs we are number one in reproduction in the world uh, like i say we work for the animals and to the animals this is not for the persons who who are the owners the owner of this place is a foundation no lucrative foundation also all of the people who are in that foundation they are, they are volunteers like myself uh, here usually there were only three guys pay guys the, the only ones they come every day but also we work with uh, two more vets and one nutritionist guy uh, two biology guys and also all the part of the administration uh, all of we we are volunteers we receive people from all the places in the world who come for from two weeks to six seven months working with animals and learn about Costa Rica and learn about the the language and everything here so the people who come here uh, we always say uh, you are come here uh, you need to love the animals you need to to learn about the animals and love the nature that is the, the one of the things that we always looking for the people who come here Dependent on where do you come. The first days, uh, they are the jet lag, for example. If you come from the other side of the world, you are going to be some... some uh, you, want, you are going to need to sleep, yeah. And also, when I say, I don't know, the, the, the challenge the, the comes depend on the person. For example, if you are not a guy who love uh, or who are really don't like the, the bites of the mosquitoes here we have a lot of mosquitoes but you are going to learn to work with that uh, we tell you what to do to, to take care of the mosquitoes also if you don't like uh, snakes for example there are one place here who are the snakes and so you are going to work in other place no close to the snakes